we're thinking about entering transactions that have a little bit more complex rules related to them. So we're going to say, let's see if I can look at some of my bank detail and some of those kind of transactions that might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to sort my bank data this way. And I'm looking for, this is the wrong, I'm with the checking account. Am I on the checking account? Yeah, I am. So what are, this is the ones I'm looking for. So now we want to look at the bank data. And sometimes you might have the same customer or same vendor, but want to apply the transactions to multiple different uh, income or expense type of accounts because you're purchasing different things. So we're going to be looking at the customer side of things, the deposit side of things this time, but you might have a similar thing or the similar concept can apply then to if you're on the other side on the expenses side of things. So in this case, we have a customer that that maybe we're getting paid by the same customer name, but we have two different accounts that they're going to. Possibly we have two different locations or something like that. Now, if I look at the bank jargon stuff, like all the stuff in the bank jargon, then I might not be able to, I might be able to say, well, it's the same customer that we're getting the money from but there could be some differentiation, say in the number or something like that, that might be an indication of like the location. And that's something that I can differentiate on. And to do that, you wanna make sure that you're looking at not just the bank uh, memo kind of information or the shorthand description that QuickBooks has given you, but you're looking at the full bank details. So if I look at the cog over here, we wanna make sure that we're looking at the bank, the full bank detail information uh, show bank detail because if you don't show the bank detail then notice it truncates what's happening QuickBooks is trying to give you the minimum data I want all the data if I'm going to look for something to distinguish between like one vendor or one customer that I can break out between like two different locations now let's imagine then that the, these two numbers represent two different locations and I would like to break out this customer revenue out into uh, those those two different locations. Now there's a couple ways in terms of the accounts I can do to do that. I could set up a rule which can be differentiated by the stuff in the memo or bank text. But then how do I want to line this up on my income statement in terms of the income accounts? There's a couple ways I might say that I have two different income accounts. I might have a parent income account that's the and then the two income accounts below it that are going to be sub accounts or I could use class tracking or location tracking to do this. So let's just explore a couple of those options and how the bank feeds fit into them.